What's up folks, welcome back to another video. On this channel, we help you become a full stack developer. If you haven't subscribed yet, definitely consider do so. Well, this is an entire series of where we're gonna walk you guys through how we can deploy application like Angular, Vue.js, and React.js application using Amazon S3. In this particular video, we're going to deploy a React application to S3. In order to start, you definitely need at least to have an AWS account. If you don't have one yet, definitely make sure that you have an AWS account. Well, without any further ado, let's get our hands dirty. First thing first, navigate to wherever you have a console.log.aws.com. Once you're here, make sure that you search for S3 and click on S3. It will take you this page. I'm going to go here and create what they call a bucket. And think about a bucket of where you're going to store all your files. And this bucket name has to be unique. I'm going to call my bucket name YouTube Demo S3 and select the region where you want it to be. Now, make sure that you select the region that is closer to where your consumer is going to be. And the reason being is going to make your application loads faster to where your end consumer is. I'm going to select a region. Now you can leave the default one. That is okay. But I would recommend for you guys to select the one that is closer to your end consumer so that the application can load faster for them. So I'm going to leave the default one. And once that's done, click create. And believe it or not, we now have a bucket created into S3. Second thing we're going to do is try to make this bucket public. Right now, this bucket is not public, which means nobody other than you can access this bucket. So in order for us to do this, I'm going to go here and click on the button and click wherever it said permission and I'm going to go all the way where it said edit and I'm going to make sure that I won't check this box. And once that's done, I'm going to save that one and I'm going to type the word confirm and click confirm. And now this bucket is public. Again, all I do is go to permission tab, go on the public access and, and uncheck this public field. Once that's done, the next step is we're going to attach what they call a bucket policy into this bucket. So I'm going to click wherever it said bucket policy. Now a bucket policy, it's something that gives the user the ability for them to read files inside your bucket, create delete files inside of it as well. How can we do that? Well, if you head over this URL, this URL will contain the policy that we are currently using. I'm going to go ahead here and copy this policy. I'm going to bring it over here and paste them. Now, all we need to do inside this policy is wherever we have the bucket name, we're going to replace it with the name of our bucket. In this case, it is YouTube Demo S3. So we're going to right click and copy this and we place this one with the name of my bucket. And ladies and gentlemen, this bucket policy is attached to this bucket. And all we need to do now is click on save button and we're good to go. Now to verify this work, we need to go back to Amazon S3 and we need to make sure that we are seeing the label public to our bucket. If you do not see this, then just be mindful that your bucket is not fully public. Once this is done, make sure that you click on your public now. And what we're going to do is we're going to try to bring our React application into that bucket. So how can we do that? First thing first, let's go to wherever we have our React application. In this case, this this is my React application and this is exactly what it looks like right now. And my goal is I want to take this app that is currently running on the localhost 3000 into Amazon S3. So how can we do that? First thing first, I need to go over the React application. I'm going to run what they call npm run build. And what this is going to do for me is going to create a build folder inside right here. There you go. There's my build folder is going to create a build folder with everything that I needed in order to deploy to Amazon S3. Now, if this command doesn't work for you guys, I'm definitely using the create react app that give me the script in order for them to generate a static file for me. So again, all we do is run this command here and you go ahead and create this build folder for me. Okay. So the next step is we need to go wherever we have our react application. I'm going to click on it and I'm going to go inside the build folder. Again, make sure that you are inside the build folder. And once I am inside the build folder, I'm going to select everything and drag them over inside my bucket like this and boom. And all I need to do now is click wherever it said upload. And ladies and gentlemen, everything that was inside the build folder is now inside my S3 bucket right here. All right. The last step in order to get this live to the end consumer for everybody to be able to see this live, I need to go to wherever we have property right here. And I'm going to click where it said static website hosting. And I'm going to click on the first one where it said use this bucket to host website. I'm going to click on that. Make sure you specify index HTML. I'm going to copy the same thing and paste it as well in the array document. And all I need to do now is click on save. And now if I go back to the static website and click on this URL right here and ladies and gentlemen, our website, it is loading. It is fully deployed into Amazon S3. I can share this entire URL with anybody they want and they can be able to see my website live and access and play one with it. Before I end this video, there's one thing I'd like to do. If I go back into Amazon S3, go 
into my bucket and go into wherever we have permission and go over bucket policy. Now, for some of you that might be asking, all right, so you just told me to copy a policy. I have no clue how this works. I don't even know how I can generate my own policy in the future. I have no clue what that is. I might not have the link you provide me and so on. I want to get more details about this. Well, in case you guys want to generate your own policy, if I go here and delete all of that, Amazon have this policy generator that you can click on it and it kind of give you this tool where you can generate your own custom policy. So I can select the S3 bucket policy and the effect is what type of access are you allowing the people to do? Are you allowing them to do things or are you denying them access to do things? And the principle is a user or services or entity that you can allow access to certain things. For this one, I'm going to use the star and I'm going to go all the way where we have the action. I'm going to allow all the action for all get. Now you can select the specific action you want to allow on this bucket. For my case, I'm going to select everything. And here, this is where things can get a little bit tricky. Here, we're going to have to deal with Amazon with source name. And what that is, is it is a naming convention on how we can identify AWS resources. So how can we work with this? First thing first, we're going to copy this example right here. So I'm going to copy this entire example right there. And here we're going to remove this and specify our bucket name. If you guys remember, our bucket name was YouTube Demo S3. So I'm going to copy this one, right click and copy, go back to the policy generator. I'm going to replace this bucket name with the name of my bucket. Again, all I do is replacing the name with the bucket name. The next thing we want to do is what files do we want them to access inside this bucket? In here, I'm going to let them access to everything that is inside this bucket. So I use the stock command right here to give them access to everything that is inside my bucket and make sure that there's no space at the end of it. Once you're done with that, make sure you click add statement and to generate the policy right now, all I need to do is click on this button right there. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen, my policy is generating. I can copy this one, right click copy and go back to my policy, paste them in, in there, save them and go back to my URL, wherever this is, we load this and it is still working as expected. All right, this was a react application that we deploy to amazon s3 in the next video we're going to see how we can deploy a vue.js application into amazon s3 if this video has helped you in any ways please do not leave without hitting the subscribe button you help me me creating video like this for people like you to find and if you want to stay tuned with every single new video that i release on this channel definitely hit the notification bell and turn all notification on thank you guys so much for watching this and see you guys for the next video